Okay, so here we are in the Fisher and Paykel kitchen. We're going to do roasted snapper with capers, pistachio nuts, and baba ganoush. The eggplant, we're going to essentially burn the skin. Okay, the flesh of the eggplant will be beautifully cooked inside, but it will, there'll be a bit of a smoky flavour imparted into the flesh. Mm -hmm. So the gas on, just drop your eggplant on. Keep turning it, keep turning it, and it's going to naturally smoke. Then we're going to finish it in the oven. Okay, so for the fish, always have the, the, the fins facing towards you, okay? Mm -hmm. It's almost kind of like back to front like that. We're going to lift the fin up and we're going to cut straight down like that, okay? Turn the knife, all right, and essentially pop it under the skin and see how I'm just making a little cut all the way down? Yeah. If I, if I try to cut like this, you can't cut through the scales of like a little armour plating. But this, I'm just making that first incision, right? I'm going to pop my thumb under there Right, and now I'm going to cut in, okay, yeah. see how easy that is? So I'm just going to slip the knife in, okay, alright, and come straight along, alright, and now I'm going to use the scissors to finish it, okay. That sounds crunchy. <laughs> it's bones. <laughs> so that's its pin bone. Next step, we're going to come underneath the belly. You watching girls? Attention span, not really. Pay, pay attention. You can do one thing at a time. <laughs> and now you're just going to whip the skin off. And just try to keep the flat, the knife flat on the board so you come really close to the skin. Soft. On the left. Fantastic. Now in the oven. Sweet. We're just going to come down through each side of the bloodline. And the reason why. That bit there is full of bones. I reckon go there and then we make that one portion and then that one portion. I always wash my fish, right? Yeah. Just to kind of, a little bit of ice water there. Convenient ice water. <laughs> yeah. Prepared it earlier. <laughs> yeah. The reason why is that when you would just want to, it's just a hygiene for issue, right? You've got um, sort of juices from the cavity of the stomach of the fish, and you just want to make sure everything's clean, right? Any particular reason ice water? It's to also keep the fish cold. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. I'm washing it and chilling it. Multitasking, right. man. Yes. Yep. This is good. Before you cook the fish, you want it to be nice and dry, okay? Because that will help you get a nice caramelisation on the fish. Alrighty. And that's the fish. Okay, so this is the eggplant caviar. We're starting here now, right? Banana. Banana shallot. And you want to pop in maybe a couple of slices of garlic, okay? Oh, Cumin and fennel seeds, okay? <laughs> Now you want to, when you use spices like this that you buy from the shop, you always want to make sure that you kind of warm them through the oil and the aromas will start to, to develop, okay? Just make a little incision on the eggplant and then you see you've got this kind of, you see that? Nice and steamy. All right? Yep. So scoop all this out. Chickpeas, they're cooked. These are flash chickpeas. So essentially we're kind of making a moist, kind of wet salad. Tomatoes. Do you know what this is? Mustard. Is that mustard. With tea? Peanut mustard. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, it's, do you know peanut butter would be close. It's tahini. Tahini. We're just going to garnish this with some chopped chives. All right. And some chopped parsley. So does all the green stuff go in there? <laughs> Watch. We'll do it by colour. Okay. Green. What do you reckon? It needs a bit of salt. A bit more salt. And it needs some pepper. It needs some balance, right? It's quite kind of rich with the olive oil. Okay, it needs some acidity to kind of balance that off. Yeah. So we're going to add a bit of lemon juice. Yeah. All right. Lemon juice is awesome. And that's the baba ganoush, right? Uh, you always cook fish the side down first, the closest to the bone. Okay. So that's obviously the bloodline there you can see is from the skin. So the white side is the side that you cook first. And the reason why is the presentation side. It's the side you serve, up, serve upwards, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so a little bit of olive oil. You're not going to eat all that. It's just to, like a vehicle to transfer heat onto the fish, okay? Do you know what I'm saying? So a little bit of salt on the fish. So fish in. Okay, so that's cool. It's good for me. Okay, so that's going to tick away there nicely, right? Not too hot, not too cold. If you see lots of smoke coming up, adjust the heat, control the temperature. Very important. 
In the meantime, we're going to make a little salad to go on top. We're just going to use these carrots from my garden. A little bit of salt again just to wilt it. Um, a little bit more chives. Okay, a little bit more parsley. This is called um, Winer's Lettuce. Yeah, this is chervil. Just a little bit of house dressing, we call it like a vinaigrette. What about that side? The broken rivers. See a nice little colour on it? Mm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to use butter here. And butter, we're not actually going to eat the butter, right? Inside, butter's like 80% fat and 20% buttermilk. Okay? And it's the buttermilk we want. The buttermilk's going to caramelise um, within the butter and it's going to coat the fish in buttermilk, caramelised buttermilk, which kind of adds like depth of flavour to your fish. Okay. okay? Yeah. So a little bit of garlic, just give it a crush. Okay. Okay. Pistachios. All right. A couple of knobs of butter. I'm going to turn that down. Now capers. Capers are salty and um, kind of really sharp. Again, providing balance. Okay. You're just going to baste the fish. So that looks so good. Just a little bit of parsley at the end. Okay. And thyme. I love thyme. Thyme's my favourite herb. So see how I'm kind of basting the fish? It needs to be basted because it helps it cook evenly. And also it helps all the buttermilk to coat the fish. And this fish is ready. So I'm just going to kind of... Can't eat that garlic, it's not really cooked. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just kind of there to kind of flavour the butter. Mm. Okay, so the plating is really easy. Okay. This is really... Butter aside, which you're not really eating. It's really like nice little healthy, mm. high energy kind of dish. A little salad around. See how the, the carrots kind of wilted a little bit. All right, so you just want to kind of drizzle that around. Some nice little leaves and stuff like that, okay? It's really like just a simple little dish. I'd buy that. So that's the um, roasted snapper, yeah, okay? Yeah. Pistachios, capers, baba ganoush. Cool, awesome. That's it. Can we taste it?